Hi, it's already September and the real estate market is still booming. Luis Carlos Perez here with Center Real Estate. I want to bring you today the market update for the month of August. We're already in September, so the month of August. I mean, the year is practically done with. So uh, I just want to see what you guys, what you guys' thoughts are about the market, where it's headed. There's a lot of uh, ideas of where everything's going. So comment and let me let me know where you think the market is headed. But I'll tell you where it's been in the last month or so. So for one, the market, something that surprised me a little bit was that, uh, the sales price, the price point of homes in the market here dropped. We are currently at about $208,000 average sales price. That is a drop of about 5% from the last month, from previous month, so July. So it's not it's not surprising. I mean, I think the, the prices are kind of stabilizing. I don't think it's a it's a drop where we're crazy. Uh, people think there's gonna be a big crash or anything. It's just prices are gonna stabilize. I, don't, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the next month for September prices go up again a little bit. So it's been a healthy increase so far. Units sold, there's been, uh, that was, there's actually a increase in that, about 7% increase, 898 homes sold the last month of September. Um, actually not September, last month, August. And then active listings, that's the number that dropped. Um, it's still a lot of things happen towards the end of the season. End of the month, August was the time that it's, it's funny, kids are already back at school in August, so that the market usually tends to slow down a little bit. And we see that it's slowed down. It's nothing like a crash again, I repeat that, but it's it's just a normal adjustment, I suppose, when the market is still very active. There's still multiple offers. Don't, don't think it's a different market than the summer. It's still very, very active. Uh, also, days on market increased to about 52 days on market. Uh, the increase, I, th I find it normal. There's still been a shortage in appraisals. Uh, for appraisers to go out and look at the homes, that's still a shortage. Uh, lending and everything has also been backed up throughout most of the summer. So the time it takes to from a house to go on the market and then to get sold and everything is, is taking a little bit longer. Also, or when multiple offers come through, it's even if you get an offer the first day the house comes on the market, I mean, for myself, it, I always get a few days it takes time to sort out and confirm different things and offers. So that's why I see it uh, probably a stretch on, on days on market. A lot of realtors are, are given a deadline. Okay, we're going to review offers this day. So then it, uh, the, host, the house stays on the market a lot, little bit longer. Even though there's offers on the table, it stays on the market a little bit longer. Also, new listings drop. Again, if your kids are going back to school and things, a lot of people are not thinking about going on the market specifically that same month, that same week. We're worried about, especially this year, that kids are going back to in-person school when they were going back virtually last year. So that's been a change for everybody. So that's why some homes maybe are not going to the market and they should be coming up in the next few months. Um, also something that it, it goes in line, it, it goes in alignment with, with the market and everything. The average sales price did come down but the price point or the price per square foot went up. We're already $123 per square foot. That's the average that a house uh, goes for in, in the city. So if we're looking at homes throughout the city, it's hard to just depict, okay, a home on West El Paso might be different than something central. So the price, it doesn't correlate. But if we're looking at um, price per square foot overall, it kind of gives you a better idea of what's going on one house to another, even in the same neighborhood, different size of homes, it gives you a better idea of what's going on. And that number did increase as well this last month. So the prices really, are, the number showed a dip in the average sales price, but the overall price is actually going up because of this price per square foot. All right guys, so that's the market update for the month of August. Again, it's still very active, very busy. It's still a seller's market overall. You still have people uh, getting multiple offers used to have homes going and selling in a matter of hours or days. So if you've been thinking about putting that house on the market, I, this is a time we don't know how long it's going to last. We don't know how long it's going to be for, for the market to flip and become a uh, buyer's market. So if you if you don't don't wait, don't, I don't think the prices are going to increase a lot or you're not going to make a million dollars on the house if you hold it for another six months. If you've been thinking of selling or you need to sell, this is a time to do it. So I would love to be the realtor to do that. And uh, again, if you like this video, you want to stay, make sure you subscribe to my channel, follow my page, and I'll see you in the next video.